Hey guys, Hager 262 bringing you some gameplay from Riverpoint today. And it's a little bit different. It's about team killers and just terrible teams in general. And just. That's about it. It's not really how to deal with them. It's just. You know, there's nothing you can do. The only reason I reported this is, and I've already been shot, is because at first, when you get shot right out of the gates like that, a lot of people freak out and they start fighting. It just takes away from the gameplay. When it could be a mistake, it could be an accident, somebody could lag and just hit the fire button and hit you. However, the only reason I started recording this is because he already shot our C-13 TUA. And he's going to shoot me multiple times in this clip. He's going to shoot a bunch of players. So it's no accident. But the reason I didn't immediately turn around or immediately report him or start fighting him is because I had no way of knowing whether or not it was a mistake. And I just try to play... Where I can ignore people like that or ignore little mistakes because it's going to honestly impact how you play the game and it could cause you to lose him. which he does here he's already shot me three times two penetrated for a total of almost a thousand damage and now it's ruined my game completely and the reason I say it's ruined my game completely is not because I got too upset I was like oh this guy's making me pissed off it's because now I'm not helping the T-64 who or I'm sorry, the Type 92, who was who I was assisting and who was moving up that line. We're no longer holding that line anymore. He has to retreat, and he's going to go fight Hustle the Merkava. And I had to retreat because the Merkava was shooting us. And now my first thoughts here is that he shot too many people. He's banned. That's why he's not moving behind the mountain. And so I just went back to playing the game. It's like, you know, Armored Warfare and stuff like that will take care of it. But then I noticed that the Type 90 is just going full force and the LAV has already taken a couple of hits. And I'm wondering, is he just Identify. camping back there? Awful. And because I'm distracted with that, which is not my fault, it's my fault, I don't properly spot that T-80U and I get hit. And now I see that there is a skirmish going on and the Merkava is not only not banned, but he's still in the game and he's still fighting the, T or the Type 90 too. And that's just awful. You never want to have to see a player just get murdered for no reason. But it's not just one player. It's a bunch. And so I'm moving in reverse, watching the Merkava. Because now i got to get out of the town. I can no longer hold that position against the TADU. But I want to see what happens to the Merkava. And I want to make sure he's not going to come after me. And I don't know if that's true or not now. And that's why it's like, this has ruined the game. He just killed the Type 90. He's behind me. It's like having an enemy to my rear while having an entire enemy team in front of me and so now I have to play double offensive and that's going to cause a lot of issues in just how you play the game and so it's distracted me it's distracted my team and all I have to do is report them and I just report them because at this point it's a little bit ridiculous but that's all you can do about it. All you can do is report them and then just wait for the game to end. And the reason this game is so ridiculous is because I've never seen one player just attack the entire team. And he's he just killed a second player. And it's just, it was mind-boggling to me. I've never seen this before in my entire two years of playing Armored Warfare or even the seven years in World of Tanks. It's just, I've never seen that in any game. And uh, Pwns285 is a Russian player and this is something that's been happening a lot since the server merged. Just a lot of weird stuff regarding Russian players in PvP. I don't know why he did this. He's yelling at the enemy team in Russian and we have some Russian players on our team yelling at him and I don't know what they're saying so I, you know, it could be anything. It could just be he just is a jerk. He doesn't want to play the game. Identify. He hates the team. Oh, it could be that he has friends on the enemy team and he's trying to help them get through some clan stuff. Whatever it is, I don't know. But he just killed me. I'm the third and final person he kills. Believe. But he also goes after the LAV 600 to destroy him. Now, he gets killed before he can kill the LAV. But this has just been a ridiculous game on River Point. It was one of the weirdest, and normally I would only have this gameplay to show you. Now, it does end in a defeat, and we don't do any damage. I was recording this to do a showcase on the Ruacat 76, and obviously this video won't be in it. But, no damage done, no real experience, 
And I was like, surely this guy had to be banned. I mean, there's no way. But we have a second game because immediately I try to warn my teammates. He will kill you. He's a team killer. He already started this game in North America shooting at another MBT. He's in a couple of um, couple hundred damage to him. And because of that, because this is literally the game right after River Point, I decided I'm going to shoot him and just see if I can help my team. Take him out. Now, our whole team is fighting him at this point. And it's a good show because you can see how heavily armored the Merkava is compared to the Ruakat. So now, all these MBTs, a BMD, they're going after him. The MX40 is almost dead because of this Merkava. And this game just started, and I don't understand it. So I'm going to go and try to play the rest of this game. And I don't get very far. I'm watching them, I'm trying to make sure that he's not going to hit me. I am now thoroughly distracted again, and I am not focused on this game whatsoever. I have no idea what's going to go, you know, what's happening. I have no situational awareness because I'm too worried about what's happening behind me. So I get up to the full speed up these mountains. I'm going about 50 to 60 kilometers an hour uphill, which is great. Now, like, that's enough to get away from this Merc. It's enough to put distance between us and just start playing this game. And so I try to ignore it. He's still in the back shooting at the team. He's killed the AMX-40. And, you know, I think that's it. I thought that maybe, unlike last game, last game was an anomaly. There's no way a player who somehow did not get banned for killing three friendlies last game is going to make the same mistake in this game. But I would be wrong. He starts shooting me from the back for no reason. Now that completely throws me off again. Because now i got to run into the open to avoid getting hit. He shoots me three times for 1,400 damage. And now I'm completely in the open. I'm going after this Cassett. There's a VBL next to me. There's no way I'm not spotted. And there's nothing I can do. I just panic to get away from the Merc of a sub. I don't have another game where I don't do anything. So now I'm just trying to spot without dying because I don't think there's any way I'm going to be able to take care of any of the MBTs that are out in the field right now besides the Cassett. There's the AM. Um, Magok out there and then an Object 279 as well. I'm not going to be able to deal with them. So all I'm trying to do is just spot them. Spot them to stay away from the Merkel. I'm able to pen the T-72 and even with smoke it's not enough and I get killed. Now I could have survived up there, I could have gotten out of that situation, I could have played an effective game where I supported my team. Because the Merkava took away 1400 of my hit points for no reason, I died in one shot. And so now I'm trying to spectate the Merkava, I want to know what is he doing, why is he doing this, he's just rolling around in the back here doing absolutely nothing for the team. And I see him start moving towards Cap, and I was like, maybe God, just maybe this once. He's going to support us. He's actually going to play the game and support the team. But that's not the case. Spoiler alert, he's moving to the cap to help the enemy team cap it and kill off more of our players. And that was just wild to me. I had no idea he was going to do that. I couldn't believe it. Just an absolute nightmare of a game to play with Pwn <laughs> 285. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel. I'm doing more vehicle showcases. And stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching.